one thing that I always do in the winter is carry a nice good blanket with me. In fact, I even do it in the summer. And the reason for a nice big blanket is you can spread it out on the ground, you can have a picnic, you can use it in emergencies, you can roll it up, have kids in the back seat, have a blanket, you can even use it for camping. It's just got so many different uses. And so I like a nice big blanket. I used to carry a thick quilted blanket, which folded up and got to be really, really huge. And it was just cotton, and so it didn't really uh, withstand moisture, mold, anything like that very well. So I decided to go ahead and try this wool blanket. So you can kind of see the size of it already. This is the Warm Wool Blanket by Ever Ready First Aid. And you can see it's about the size of a pillow. It weighs almost nine pounds. And so this isn't something that you would go hiking with or anything like that. This is something that you would just kind of keep in the car and have for emergencies or to use for uh, whatever other odds and ends you might need a blanket for. It comes in a nice plastic bag that you could probably just keep this bag and use it for storage when you're not using it. This blanket is about 95% wool and about 5% synthetic fibers. If you're not familiar with wool, the big advantage of wool is that it still stays warm even when it's wet. Now it may not be comfortable having a blanket when it's wet, but it's still going to keep you warm. It also repels dust mites and other natural allergens. It helps prevent or withstands mold and mildew. Wool is just a good natural substance. Now you might be thinking wool is just naturally super itchy, and you're right, but this does have 5% synthetic material and is triple washed. And so it's actually pretty soft. It's not super scratchy at all. On, on bare skin, it's actually pretty soft. So you don't have to worry about the itchiness. Now, one thing that I like about this that I can see right away is that it's got some super reinforced stitching all along the edging. So I like that. The other thing I like is about the, uh, the color. It comes in this olive drab color. It's a nice natural color. Now again, this comes triple washed. You might want to wash it again. Even as I'm unfolding it, I can see some fibers kind of coming off. Machine wash, cold separately, delicate cycle. Line dry for best results. The other thing I like about this is just how huge of a blanket it, this is. This is king sized. And so this is just huge. You can wrap easily two people up in this, you know, both underside and overside for a lot of warmth. You can have this even across the entire back seat of the car. If you have multiple kids or people in the back, they can all share this blanket. It's just, it's huge. So I just spread out this entire blanket and you can see how big this blanket actually is. You can have a nice picnic. You can have an awning coming out here. You can have this on the ground. You have a bunch of people sitting out here and it covers a lot of space. I really like this blanket. It is, I like the size. I like that it's wool. It's naturally resistant to mold and mildew. You don't have to worry about that. It's still fairly soft, even though it's wool. And it does compact pretty nicely into about a pillow sized area. And so you can easily fit it in the back of the Forerunner really easily. It's just good to carry an emergency blanket with you. You always want to do that in the winter, whether you're traveling up in the mountains or cross country somewhere. You never know if you need to sleep in the car or go camping um, on an emergency basis. Now, it does look like it is single layer. It's not double layer, but it's thick. So again, this blanket kind of folds up roughly about this size or so. You could probably compact it a little bit smaller, but I'm just going to keep it in the back here pretty much all the time. I'll put a link of this blanket in the description below so you can check it out and see if that's something that works for you. Again, I have all my other stuff in here for emergencies or whatever. And I like to keep it covered up with this cargo cover. If you're interested in knowing about all the other stuff that I carry back here for emergencies and winter, check out this other video that I'll link up in the corner here of other things that I do to get ready for winter. 
and some of the stuff that I carry in the back here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you can. It really helps out the channel. Let me know in the comments below if you carry a wool blanket in the trunk of your car. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.